it's national is national unity attainable in Uganda our forefathers invested in educational exchanges my father studied in St. Leo's Fort Porto people studied in Mvara in Mwiri the post-colonial government made a deliberate effort but is national unity attainable in Uganda I'm here standing on the logo of an elephant which is a symbol for the Acholi and it is clearly at the gates of parliament you'd see all the tribes I think we have to ask and answer these questions ourselves is national unity attainable after 54 years of independence are we closer to national unity I think the answer is no tribalism is at, as it speak just ask a question recently we lost Uganda people's defense forces soldiers in uh, Somalia it's very unfortunate incident. Rest in peace, gallant comrades. But you should ask yourself, did they bury any of those soldiers in your village? Where did they bury them? Even the president stated in his state, the president made a statement that uh, uh, they took drivers and cooks to Somalia. So who, who selected the drivers and cooks to Somalia? Isn't that tribalism? So you take people who are not used, who are not very courageous, and then they get killed. Tribalism. Every time when there is a problem in Central Africa and Somalia, we bury in Acholi where there is no money. But when there is a problem in Somalia, then they say, oh, they made a mistake. They took drivers and cooks. So you see, genetically we are different. We do different things. That I would equate it to tribalism. Mulago, Cancer Institute, Almost 90% of the cancer victims in Mulago are from Lango. Why? Because President Rubote was giving asbestos to their people. And we are now seeing the results after 50 years. Check your statistics. The whites are very wise. They put Soroti Flying School deliberately in Soroti. Because they knew it is classified information. You can even check in the... Secret Service of the Mossad of the Israelis. They knew that Itesots performed very well at high altitude. They knew that. Now go to Soroti Flying School and see the people who are there. There are people who cannot even climb a purple tree. They cannot perform well at a high altitude. Strategic. We should accept we are different and we are good at different things. I was reading the book of uh, Professor Mamdani Mahmoud. A very interesting book. Uh, it is where the victims become the killers. You need to read that book. You guys, you need to read the book. And it stated in the book that the difference between a Tutsi and a Hutu is that when they take milk, one of the ethnic groups can process milk into a complete food. They drink milk, but they get to the toilets and release feces. But the other one, they drink milk, they release it as urine. What does it mean? It means we are different. We are good at different things. Some people are good at combat more than others. Those are the ones, majority, who should be in Somalia. Others are good at flying. Those are the ones who should be at a Soroti flying school. But the moment you do things because you want your people to be in certain positions and they are not genetically predisposed to be in these positions, then you bring problems like cancer. You bring problems like what we saw in Somalia. There we are. These are philosophical thoughts. Uganda should be united, but the unity should be in diversity. Ugandans should accept that we are like salads. A salad, you have pineapples, you have purples, you have tomatoes, and each particular aspect must not lose its identity. Otherwise, the salad ceases to be nice. So these are philosophical ideas. Unity in diversity. What are we good at? We should ask those questions. Thank you.